Hey, it's Jez Rose. Welcome to this unboxing video for the Yeti Rambler water bottle. Now hear this. This is the Yeti Rambler. Now, this has made me realize that actually I think I might have a problem. Uh, my name is Jez Rose and I have a water bottle problem <laughs> because I thought it would be a good idea to do some comparisons and talk about some of the water bottles that I've got because I do, I, you know, like moth to a flame, like water droplet to a bottle. I do gravitate towards the water bottle section of any shop I'm in. I just, I've not found the right one yet. E. See what I did there? We'll do it my cover. Um, this one I got from Cornell when I studied with Cornell and it, it's fine. It's a little small. I drink three to four water, uh, three to four liters of water a day. So there's not much in here, but also this red stuff chips off um, and it doesn't have a handle. So once you've taken the top off, you're gonna have to hold that. It can only go in something. Uh, somebody suggested I get this thing. Uh, it's a bit small, but I thought it might be nice for tea. But when you twist the lid, um, there's another hole here. And when you drink from it, the stuff dribbles out of the pressure hole here. So that was rubbish. This one here was a gimmick and I was so excited by this because this lid has a UV light in it. So you can scoop up non-potable water like from a stream or a puddle and then, but not see water. And then you put this in here, press the button and it kills all the bacteria and then it's safe to drink. But the cool thing about this is it's got this little handle, so that's great, but this is really sensitive. This is quite a brittle plastic. It's also got electronics in, it needs to be recharged. I always used to forget the charging cable and who travels like, I mean, talk about niche. When have I, I've never been anywhere where there isn't potable water. So, you know, there's that. Uh, and also, if you get caught and you're really thirsty, you're gonna drink it, right? Uh, this, uh, this leaks uh, and this plastic thing is gonna break at some point, like it is, uh, it's so flimsy. It's quite cool though to be able to have a handle. I have dropped it a few times and it is only plastic, so that's gonna crack too. This was bought by somebody for me. It's this one from Starbucks. This again has a really niche use because this straw and hole is in it the entire time so stuff spills out it it really is meant just for being in the car but that's not much use either and there's no handle this one comes pretty close this is from mana i quite like this one but it's been dropped and dented so many times it chips it's got that kind of quite fragile feeling about it but it doesn't have a handle there's no way you can and also it's not a huge it's not huge so, oh, and then of course there's this one. This is, you know, the ultimate, the Thermos Blask. Sturdy, Stanley. I feel like one of those, particularly in this shirt as well, I feel like one of those uh, workers in New York, you know, back in the early 1900s on that big steel, that famous black and white photo, right? Urgh. But of course you've got the cup, sorry, the lid. There's also a plastic cup and there's this lid and the bottle. So unless you're a juggler, it's not the most practical. So I'm always buying a bottle because I think, oh, maybe this one's gonna be better. And then I found the Yeti Rambler. And this was recommended to me by a friend of mine. And I've been road testing this. And oh my word, this is the bottle of all bottles. So it's made of um, uh, steel, stainless steel, hammered stainless steel. It's got a vacuum uh, interior, like a vacuum inside, which means that it keeps warm stuff warm and keeps cool stuff cool, which, you know, that, that's nice. Uh, it's not exceptional. It's not that different for a um, uh, a thermos flask, but it is very different to a lot of the other water bottles that I've got. So that's a great quality. The other thing I'm just reading from the, you know, the collar around here is BPA free. I love, 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 love any products that are environmentally friendly. And we, we manufacturers are so behind on being good to the environment. I love in a nice, cool, crisp day to go for a walk with either hot chocolate 
and it's sort of there, warming your hands and teasing you for when you sort of have a little rest, or warm apple juice. So on the stove before I go, warm up some apple juice, pop in some cinnamon sticks and a couple of ginger tea bags, and you end up with this gorgeously infused like spiced apple juice. It's utterly glorious. You can pop some alcohol in if you want, but then to put that in a thermos flask is gorgeous. So when you're drinking things like that, that have a, you know, a strong flavor, sometimes it can taint the flavor of the next thing you put in. So if you drink tea from it like a day later, it can taste like it. So it's great that you can put it in the dishwasher because that thoroughly cleans it, gets rid of all of those tastes. Now, I never thought I'd be this excited about a lid, but uh, I know, what a catch, right? <laughs> but this is, I mean, incredible. Before we, let me just explain why. This water bottle is 45 pounds, 45 GBP. It is the most expensive water bottle I've ever bought. And it's been in my basket for maybe uh, two months. I kept going to buy it and I thought, I don't know, that is, that's a lot of money for a water bottle. And then of course I opened the cupboard and realized that I had like 30 water bottles in there. I've spent way more than 45 pounds over the course of <clears throat> the last couple of years. I honestly believe I have found the water bottle. As you're about to find out, this has been designed from the ground up. I, I am so, so impressed with this thing. So let me explain why. So when you unscrew this lid, straight away, this feels solid. This is a lid that's been thought about. You know, one of my frustrations about water bottles generally and the design of them is that it's almost like people thought, oh, let's design a water bottle, put a load of effort into the sexy shape or, you know, the design of the, the color of it or something. And then right at the end, someone went, oh, do you think we, we should have a lid on that, right? And then like zero effort or thought went into the lid. So this is a molded, one molded piece. It is solid, it, it kind of feels strong it's got the gorgeous yeti branding on the top of it but it, it it feels weighty you could drop that it's not that rubbish plastic that splinters and chips and cracks this is i forget what this plastic's called but it's, it's a good plastic and what's nice of course is that you've got something that you can carry with um and point <laughs> i don't know <laughs> where is the pub that's this way <laughs> look at the vista marjorie look at the vista uh, shall we go this way, yonder, or this way? So you can point with it. I don't think that's necessarily something they thought about, but when you unscrew something like that and even thought has gone into just that small piece of the puzzle, you realize actually you're holding something that a lot of thought and effort's gone into and a lot of design. So this is the new, I don't know why it's new. I've not had one before, a new chug cap. But even this is, I mean, this is, it's just the perfect size. And this is good plastic too. This is not cheap in any which way. Not when it comes to design, not when it comes to product build, not when it comes to price, not when it comes to brand. This is an incredibly well thought through piece of kit. The rim of this uh, spout, this chug cap, has like a rubber surround to it which is a brilliant design. It's those little touches that you think, oh, they've really thought about this. When your hands are wet or cold and you want to undo this, that is just the perfect bit of grip that you need. And again, this plastic here, it's, it's I don't know what this plastic's called, but it's, it's thick, it's chunky, it's durable, it's rugged. This is not the stuff that if you dropped, I'm not going to say, you know, don't drop it, but particularly if you spent 45 quid on it, but if you did accidentally drop it, it doesn't, you know, it feels, uh, uh, and inside is, oh, there's stuff inside. There's a leaflet. There's a, there's a little note inside. <laughs> what does the note say? Help. No. <laughs> uh, dear Jez, you're looking great today. No, it doesn't. Uh, this is care instructions. Of, oh, and a sticker. Oh, oh, forget that. You get a sticker. You're paying for um, something that has been very, very well thought about. I mean, even you know, from an engineering and a design point of view, the edging here, uh, the finish is incredible. Um, and it's not too heavy. It feels good in the hand. I went for this one is the 26 ounce, 769 mil, and they do it in a smaller and also in a larger size as well. I drink three to four liters of water a day. So 769 mil is a perfect size for me. You know, three or four of these and I'm on target. 
Um, but, and also interestingly, it comes in lots of different colors and this is worth mentioning too. I went for this gorgeous burgundy color, but this stuff, whatever this is, that's made out of, you know, it, it doesn't chip or scratch. How cool is that? Oh, sorry, flake, I think they say. It might scratch, but it doesn't chip or... or so, you know, like some of these other bottles I've got where the, the colour kind of chips off or, or flakes off, um, peels off, this doesn't. So when you pay a decent amount of money for something, actually, it's going to look like this all the time. And I'm, I'm really excited about that. I mean, even, even drinking that, the, the, the thought has gone into this. You know, yes, OK, it's designed to be a bottle, but if for whatever reason you want to take it off, this is rounded, it's smooth. I never thought I would find the bottle that did everything. I just assumed that, you know, you just have to make compromises. And what's lovely is this is leak proof. I mean, isn't that cool? That's like 90% of the bottles I've got leak. They either drip out the top, they dribble from the seal. You know, uh, some of them like this one, uh, you, it doesn't fit in the um, the car, so I have to put it on its side, but then the seat gets a little bit wet or my door gets wet or whatever. You just put up with it. This, again, the footprint's big on this. It's an American brand, so they, I guess this is built for an American car. They're bigger. So in the UK, I don't think this is going to fit in many uh, of the coffee holders in the like central console or whatever. But I'm not bothered by that because if it doesn't leak, I can just lay it on the the chair next to me or I can lay it in the kind of groove next to my seat or even in my door pocket. I am, I, I, I am absolutely in love with this. Mm. I'm in love with this bottle. It's, it's epic. And actually, it has made me want to buy more Yeti stuff. So I'm gonna have a little look on their website and see if there are things for the big adventure coming up or adventures coming up with, with Woody. Um, I'm definitely impressed enough to spend um, more money with Yeti. So if you're thinking about it, if you've looked at it and thought, oh gosh, that looks like a little treat. I've spent way more than this in bottles over however long. It's rugged, you can drop it. It's, I mean, you know, try not to, but it, it, it's, it's sturdy. It's built for doing the thing it's supposed to do. So there it is. This is the uh, e, the Yeti Rambler. If you've got any reservations, I would say don't. But it is, it's a joy. It's, a, it's an absolute joy. I literally cannot wait. I uh, drank from a friend of mine and I loved it. I thought, oh, I need to explore this more. I cannot wait to do more of this. So there you go. Uh, go buy one. I love it. More from me next time. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, you'll see this and other exciting things on our rambles and adventures with Woody. I'll see you again soon.